Hey guys, so we're going to start building out the form that we built on the website for creating a listing on the app. So the first thing that I want to do is create a route for it, but before we do that we actually need a page. So I'm going to go into our app and into modules and create a new folder that's going to be listing or listings. What we name it on the website, we call it listing on the website, let's be consistent. And now I'm going to create a folder called create, and this is where our form is going to live. So I'm going to say create uh, listing form, or I guess we can call it connector. And I just want to create a dummy component right now that we can render and make sure we are able to get to this page. And I'm going to import from React Native, and I'm just going to grab some text. So now this is an actual route we can render. I can come back over here to routes and I can add it. So I'm going to say create listing connector. And then I also want to make my initial entry um, this guy. That way I can just, we can, while we're working on it, that'll be the first thing that's rendered. And the route I'm going to pick is listing slash create. And that'll be what I have as my initial route as well. So I can see hi kind of uh, hidden up there. And now we can start building out the form for this. Now I'm gonna copy the shell that we used um, over here. So this is on our website. We're going to kind of just copy, this part's the most important bit, but I'm gonna copy the whole thing, paste it over here, and then just remove some stuff we're not gonna need. So the whole React Router DOM stuff we're not gonna need. Not we don't need the ant design. We need some formic stuff. Uh, formic and formic actions will be useful. I don't think we'll be getting to formic actions in this video though. Um, with create listing, that's helpful. We might as well keep that now. This is for us to actually call the uh, controller, call the mutation when we're done. We won't worry about images right now. And I'm just going to make this into a long scroll view. So I'm not going to make individual pages. Get rid of the comment. Um, the form values for now, I'm going to make have the picture just be null. I don't know what the picture is going to be when we actually um, use that. Uh, we're not going to have any state. And for now, we'll just have... We're going to be using um, this to transition pages, so actually we might as well use this route component props from React Router Native. Don't need state, so we can get rid of the type, get rid of that. Um, our submit right now, I'm going to comment it out and just say console.log the values. The reason for that is our picture is not in the right format to send up right now because we need to do something special in React Native to get that to be working. We don't really have to worry about this thing called next page. Um, and then we're going to have formic. And I'm just going to actually get rid of all this stuff in here. And we got parentheses there. All right. Now again, I'm going to render text just to make sure that um, I did not forgetting every, anything, and this actually still renders. And I didn't break everything. I should have kept this import from before. So really the only change that I made here is I'm wrapping the text now with um, a formic object or a formic um, render prop. And now I'm going to use, so that worked, so we're going to go over to our login and we're going to kind of steal some of the components that we used for that. So we use this input field so we can reuse that. And I'm just going to copy what we used here. Um, and we used a card from React Native Elements. Let's do the same thing. Copy those, paste those over here. And let's grab that card. And I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna copy the view as well. Paste this in here.
delete the text. All right, so let's let's get this rendering now. So we have a view. We need to close the view off. We need to close the card off. And now we need to import view and field. So field is coming from Formic. View is coming from React Native. And let's also render a button. Call it submit. Or I guess save listing. All right, so that's that's nice. So now instead of saying login, we're gonna say create listing. And I actually don't even know if we want to put this in a card. I think we also we just want to put this into a scroll view because we're gonna have a bunch of fields. Um, okay, so cool that auto imported from React Native. And what a scroll view is is I can just scroll this guy now. So as he gets longer. And now just so that he's a little bit more visible, I can add some styling on it. So I can just add some padding and then margin top to push it down by, I don't know, like 20 or something so I can see it. I don't know if these values are enough. I can make even more padding. Maybe I want like 20 padding. All right, this is looking a little bit better. Now let's add our fields. So we pretty much are just gonna go one for one with the fields and then we're gonna leave picture off for last. So here I'm gonna have my name and we're just gonna go one by one I guess. So name, placeholder, and actually what I think I wanna do is to make this faster is I can just go back over here to the website, the UI, page one, and I can copy these fields because they're gonna be the same thing. Now I'm gonna leave the picture off for now though paste those in, save that, and the naming actually matches up. We called it input field over there, and we're using input field over here. So let's grab our second page. Now this says use a number component. We're going to have to use um, something slightly different than that. I just need to close that, I didn't copy that correctly. So all these fields use numbers. Um, I think there's a special thing that we can put on React Native uh, fields and that indicates it brings up a special keyboard where they can only import num or input numbers, which is what we'll use. And then page three, we'll copy this. Now amenities is gonna be interesting to do on React Native as well. So we'll do that separately as well, because that'll take a special special thing. But we should now be able to see all our fields and they render. Um, it's expecting a string and it got a number. So it's complaining about that. So we can cast all of these to strings. There we go. Now it's not gonna like it's not gonna like it here because I need to update my types as well. And unfortunately now when we need to submit, we're gonna have to cast all these things to integers um, because that's what our submit or our create listing function expects. Uh, I guess now so I can now input all these values if I want to. Everything seems to be working fine. And now if I save the listing, you know what, I actually didn't even attach anything to my bus, my button. So it says save listing, but it actually doesn't do anything. So I'm gonna say on press, it's gonna handle submit. And now handle submit is something I get from Formic. Get rid of those. Actually, I'm not sure if it'll let me disable the button. I'm not gonna worry about that for now. Okay, so that'll be called when I press it. So type some stuff, save the listing, and cool, we see this. It looks like the values are inputting correctly um, from that. So this is, the sh this is a good shell for our form. Um, so that's what I wanted to set up in this video. What we'll do in the next video is create those special fields 
um, the picture and the amenities, and then we'll go on and submit our form as well.